Hello! Come on in! Welcome to our home. So this is where all of the magic happens. This is where I do my videos and this is also where I take clients. You want to show them the mirror? Yes. I feel like the girlies will love this mirror. Here we have my closet. You know, it's a little cramped in here. <laughs> I am a clothes and shoes and purse hoarder. I'm not gonna lie. Um, you can try to come in here. <laughs> I have my purses and shoes here, most of them. I have all my clothing in here, my boots up there. And let's just not show the dirty clothes. <laughs> but I mean, it's a good size. I just have a lot of, have a lot of things. I have, a, I have a problem, you know, but that stays close for the most part. Here in my entrance, I have this big, beautiful mirror that everybody is obsessed with. It's from Home Goods, but I haven't been able to find it again. It was just like a once in a lifetime thing, and I'm really glad I found it. In here is our guest bathroom, you would say, right? Yeah. This is our guest bathroom, and these curtains i think are these from home goods or amazon home goods these are from home goods anything that you see in this house honestly is probably from home goods target amazon where else uh where do i shop that a lot uh world market world market living space living spaces wayfair american come on over now we have this little just bench area you know just a little uh space filler and over here, we walk into our kitchen, dining room, and living room area. So it's not that big of a dining room. This is our little dining room area. I do eventually want to get a big, big vase for the middle, but for right now, that's what we have. And then over here, we have our living room. So our house actually was a new build. It is a new build. It did not come with the chimney. Lisa and I designed the chimney. At first, it was white for about a year and a half. And then he decided we wanted to paint it black, so he painted it black. So I think it ties it together. I feel like it's a little bit more homey now. And then I did get this carpet from Target. I incorporated a little bit more black into the living room, so I feel like it kind of ties in together a little bit more. And over here is our kitchen, which is probably my favorite part of the house. Our kitchen is... It looks kind of small, but it feels pretty grand to me. Like the island is huge. Um, there's so much space for like cabinets and stuff like that. So this is probably my favorite area of the room. Um, also from here in the island, my husband did this easy little trim and black design, which ties in together with the fireplace. <laughs> Follow me. And here's our pantry. It's kind of a mess. I don't think I want to show you. It's kind of a mess, but. It's not that big, it's not that great, honestly. And then, this is just, you know, the rest of the, the kitchen. <laughs> and then over here is our laundry room slash our dog's room. So this is where we do our laundry and this is where our dogs sleep. Hang out. This is where they are in time out also. <laughs> London right now, she's always sleeping. My dog's names, if you don't know, are London and Luna. This is little Luna. Oh, Ooh. she, uh -oh, she, she heard said, us. she's like, who called me? <laughs> and this is London. And this is where I keep them, like if I'm cleaning or something like that, and I want them like to be out of the way. This is where they stay most of the time. And our laundry is in there. And then this is just a storage closet. This is a storage closet, and then that goes straight to our garage. So in here is our master bedroom. This is where Lisa and I make the magic happen. Just kidding. <laughs> this is Lisa and I's room. And we did this little accent wall. This was the first accent wall we did, right? Yep. We did this accent wall, again, to incorporate a little bit more black because, like I said, it was a new build, and all the walls were just gray. You know, we had pretty basic walls so we decided to do this little uh what's it called design 
accent wall? Yeah, this little accent wall design. We have a little mirror over here, which we're missing stuff in here. I think I still need like a chair and more things. We also added a fireplace in here um, just to make it feel a little more homey. And then this is Luis's closet, which you can see he has a nice big old walk-in closet all to himself. <laughs> and then over here, we have our main bathroom. So it's a, it's a double sink. And then the toilet area is separate, which is nice because you can just close the door, you know? It's, this is where the big thoughts are made. Yeah, this, that, this is we call this is what we call the office. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then in here we have our uh, shower, which I'm not gonna open that just because it looks more so like that way. <laughs> and then just a little linen closet. And I do feel like we need a little something like a I don't know like something in this area. Show them. An accent wall right here? Not, I don't know if an accent wall, but at least like a, a painting or something, you know? Because it looks a little bit plain, so... I mean, we're not fully... I feel like you're never done working on your house, but this is what we have for now. So, our plan was when we moved in to change all of these hinges to black. We were going to change all of the faucets to black, make it, you know, a little bit more modern, a little bit more us, but... You know, it's expensive and it takes a lot of time, so we haven't gotten around to that yet. <laughs> that we have. What inspired you to do this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to fill it, but I don't know. This still feels very so. We want to do we want to do a accent wall here as well, but I don't know. We probably will end up doing it. And typically downstairs we do no shoes, but right now we're in our shoes. <laughs> I'm not taking my shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> our downstairs living room so this is the biggest comfiest couch ever um i know it kind of blends in with like the wall and the carpet so i wanted to do a big dark rug to give it a little bit of contrast but i haven't found one yet so we don't have that yet over here we just have a little bit of a like a wall filler you know just uh, we have blankets, some cabinets over here, but it's just, you know, so it's not so big and empty down here. And then this is where we have our TV. Down here is where we do our movie nights or like around Christmas time when my whole family comes over. We do movie nights here and it's just nice and comfy. We push the ottoman over and it's like a big old bed pretty much. It's where you take your naps. And yeah, we take naps down here because it's cooler. And then in here is a guest bedroom. I mean, there's not much to it just because it's a guest bedroom. They don't really come and just sleep here. So it ain't much, but it's something. <laughs> and then another little linen closet. And then this is our other guest bedroom. And again, we did a black accent wall in this bedroom and it's nice and simple again nothing crazy and finally we have our last bathroom this might be probably my favorite bathroom this one and the one upstairs they're my favorite bathrooms because I don't know I feel like the design in here kind of like the warmth you know I don't know let me get this angle better. She has a little basket. <laughs> well, yeah, those are guest towels. Because we don't ever shower down here, just the guests shower mm. down here. Not that we have a lot of guests. But <laughs> I didn't notice our house is four bedrooms, three full baths. Um, technically, the bedroom upstairs that I use is not used as a bedroom. It's like my office workspace area. We do have guests that stay in these rooms, believe it or not. Like my sister will come over, my cousins, Lisa's brother sometimes comes and stays. My friends from Dallas, now that they moved to Dallas, they, they'll come and stay. People have stayed, Blanca and Jonathan have stayed here before. I feel like when people are too drunk, we just convince them to stay. Cause I'm like, there's no point in leaving. Like we have extra bedrooms. You can leave as early as you want. This area, like I said, is what we use a lot more like for movie nights and stuff. We're gonna have a movie ther marathon. This is where we come because you can just turn off all the lights and it's nice because you can just see the screen. Football. 
Um, yeah, Luis comes and watch, watches football. Luis and Jonathan will come and watch football down here in Blanca, and I will just either stay upstairs or sometimes vice versa. Blanca and I will come downstairs and we'll watch a movie or a show or something, and then the guys will just stay upstairs. Now let's show you our backyard. So most of the house, the inside of the house, I kind of designed by myself. Luis puts input, you know, here and there. He like came up with the idea to do the black. Hold on, I'm already gonna breath. He came up with the idea. She to is do... pregnant, boys. <laughs> <laughs> he came up with the idea to do the black um, fireplace and do the black accent. So that was him. But for the most part, I feel like. I do the designing inside. Um, for the backyard, I feel like both of us really talked about this is what we want, this is what we want. Um, um, at first she was really not happy with my design. <laughs> it took us a while, but. And also we do have an HOA here, so it's not exactly what we wanted. Um, we also didn't get our plans approved really by the HOA because we, if you have an HOA, you know they take forever and sometimes they don't approve your plan. So we kind of just did whatever, honestly. But yeah, like I said, both of us worked together on this and I feel like this is kind of like his pride and joy because he did most of, he does, he, the backyard and the front yard are his like, his niche, you know? The inside is more of my pride and joy. Um, so I feel like the outside was kind of our project together that he kind of just takes care of. Be careful, mommy. The mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> this area, we just have a little deck. Um, my suegro actually did the entire backyard. We kind of just told him what to get and what to do, and he did the entire backyard. So here's our little deck, which eventually we would like to put, you know, a little set here to hang out and chill. But for right now, this is what we have. And then we have some stairs here. And in this area, we have this little area that we want to do a, uh, what's it called? A fire pit, you know, some chairs, maybe a couch, you know, just a little vibe um, to sit outside. And then the rest of this is just kind of, our, the dog is ruining our our audio <laughs> we have our grass which my husband takes care of tremendously that is his baby and then we have these rocks and you know we needed these plants because the HOA required us to have these plants so that's why we have that there and then over here is just like rocks and mulch you know just some filler area we don't really use that area at all and over here we have some plants I don't take care of that. That's all Louise because I don't come out here. <laughs> Hi. Hi. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> and then in this area we have a walk. That's a walkthrough. And that's it. Let's go inside so we can finish the top. Okay. And honestly. I opened up the blinds for the video, but I would say 90% of the time they're closed just because I'm home a lot and there's already a lot of light in here. So I don't mind if the blinds are closed. I know some people like first thing they do is open up the blinds and everything. I don't care if I feel like I'm inside a lot. I love being indoors. How long have we been here for? Oh, we've been here. We've lived in this house. It's been about two and a half years a little bit more in february of 2024 it'll be three years that we've been here and this is actually our second home so luis and i first when we first moved in together he had already bought our first home which was a little condo and in december of 2019 right mm -hmm. in december of 2019 we was it yeah we sold 2020. it no, we sold it we sold it December 19th, uh, 2019. And, and we moved, moved in, in here when, February yeah. 2020. Yeah, that's right. So December of 2019, we sold our condo and moved into here. And then we've been here ever since. And honestly, we love this home so much. This is our pride and joy. I feel like we, Luis and I have worked so hard to make this place just feel so homey. And I, I really, I love when I get compliments about my home. I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks so nice in here. Because I do spend a lot of time in my home, so I feel like 
it's just my sanctuary you know it's my good it's my happy place it's my pride and joy same with Luis he loves coming in and coming home and like just feeling like ah you know pretty much like I know it's kind of psycho but my house pretty much always looks like this like sometimes it's a little bit it gets a little bit messy but I do every single day I would say right yep. <laughs> I do pretty much clean every single day I like when my house smells good like um, show them the Febreze plugin how many do you have let's count them shall um, we there's quite a few in here so I try to have one of the Febreze plugin in every single like um, outlet no not every outlet that's too much um, what's it called like every point of the house for example we have one when you walk in right away because you like you know when you walk into a house you can like Mmm, smell that goodness, you know? Like, have one right there. I have one in each bathroom, you know, just because I want the bathroom to smell nice. I have one by the trash can because the trash always smells nasty. I have one right by the stairs, so right when you walk into the downstairs. It's downstairs. <laughs> so right when you walk uh, downstairs, you can get that smell. And then I think I have one in our room. But I don't have one in every room. What would you say are the like two most things that we get complimented on in the house? The smell of the house. The, ha the smell of the house one, and like just how clean and the design of our house is. Um, like I said, I just take a lot of pride and joy in my house because I just love being here. I love being home, <laughs> and I love it when Luis comes home and it's all nice and clean and it smells clean, and he's like. It's just really nice or when you come back from vacation and you come into your house and it smells so nice and everything's nice and put together. It's just a good feeling. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about anything, like where I got anything, just ask me in the comments below. I probably got it at Target, Home Goods, H&M Home. I do shop at H&M Home too. From Wayfair, Living Spaces, Target. I don't really shop expensive. Like I said, if you guys have any questions about anything, just ask them in the comments below and I will definitely tell you where it's from. If you have any questions about anything else, let us know. And if there's any other video suggestions that you would like for us to make, also let us know. And thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed our little house tour. Bye!